What are you doing to him? What are you doing? I want to kill him! Why do you want to kill him? I want to kill him! Why do you want to kill him? She is clever! Yes! Yes! I want to kill her! So what have you done to your life?
ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also tell us the problem that made you to come here. Eh, I problem ya kuba ni babza ni re HIV positive, and then na epilepsy, and then na kuba ni lava marriage past eh past ba la wuli marriage eh na. My sister is telling us that the problem that made her to come here is the problem of HIV, epilepsy, and also she was seeking marriage from God. Let's talk about the issue of HIV. Were you taking any medication? How did it affect you? Because many people believe that when they have HIV, they're going to die with you. How did it affect you? Ani chawa agusunguleni ni suikumi. Loko pasta ba 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 professor ya sikuru ngonya ni nirkwa la cherries aninga stibu kuri ni na HIV so pasta ba vula vula kuri ni na HIV e 2016 yeah. Mami is telling us that at the beginning of all these things, she was very afraid because uh, she was afraid of the word HIV. And uh, one time went on when she came here at church, she was told that she's having HIV and it became easier. And with the issue of epilepsy, were you taking any medication for epilepsy? Ban diagnosi last year, ukurina nina epilepsy. And take a medication ya kona. And in all these things that you are coming across in your life, how did they affect you? Sin affecti ngo fui makakure ka nisheketa kure aniri loko muno arna HIV itiva kure muno utahat sa alova so. As in effect, he makagu he he makaya sona. Eh, ngan komi kasi. My sister is telling us that she has been diagnosed with epilepsy last year, and with this issue of HIV, she it has been affecting her so much because she knows that every time when a person has been diagnosed with HIV, they say you're gonna die. So it has been affecting her, believing that she will die. And today, by the grace of God, you saw the man of God one on one. How was it? Niti twini sakingofu loko ni koti ku bona na 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 na. Na apostol, eh, eh. Mami is saying that she felt very good when she got the opportunity to meet the man of God on on one on one and confirm the prophecy that he gave to you. Is it true? Eh, it's on and go for, it's on and go for. Eh, she's confirming that the prophecy that she got it was very true. And let's speak about the time when they prayed for you. How did you feel when the man of God was praying for you? Um, ni. Ani tuan before ba ni kongelela ani titi tuani tikeriwa so sesuani ni titi tuani relate ngofu eh ni titi tuani relate ngofu. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Uh, our sister is saying that when uh, before they prayed for her, she felt very heavy, but after the prayer, she feels very light. What can you say to the viewers out there? Eh ninga bula kure eh. Shikwe la acherisi, shikumbu shikona, loko munu ofumela, kuri shikumbu shikona, sha anyisa, abati, bata funeka kona. Yeah. Mami, she's encouraging everybody out there that if you believe that God is around, indeed God is at this place, in this place. And if you believe that God is here, indeed you shall be healed and you shall live in Jesus' name. Thank you, Mama. Na